I can't tell you how many times through the years people have requested that I show you a UMX binding process video. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I am going to show you my way. It's a very simple, quick, and easy way to take a UMX airplane, which comes in one piece out of the box. There are a ton of these you can buy, and you bind it up to a universal radio, like the Spectrum NX6. Now this is the newest version of a Spectrum radio that you can buy. There's an NX8 and NX10. They have updates all the time. They're very easy to use. And basically all UMX planes will bind to a Spectrum radio this way. I'm not here to say that I'm doing this the best way possible, but I am basically making this video to show everyone that's never gone through this process before how simple it is to actually bind and fly a UMX airplane. So let's go. First thing you do is hold this scroll wheel down like a button and power on your radio at the same time. Don't release the scroll wheel and you get a system setup menu. We go to model select, which is the second one down, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom here or near the bottom, add new model. I just want it to be an airplane and I'm gonna go to create. And I'm just using this navigation to scroll and I click it like a button. The very next thing I'm gonna do is go to model name and just put in whatever I wanna name this. UMX Twin Otter. We're going back, back. What you call back. twatter. It's a twatter. <laughs> okay, and now we're ready to bind. We power off the radio. This is my way of doing it. There's probably a few other ways to do this. On any UMX plane, the very first time you get it, you literally just plug this in and it goes right into bind mode. Got Velcro on my battery already. Now, this is our bind button up here on the radio. We generally want to stand back a little ways from the plane when we do this, but I'll do it just for video's sake. I'm going to press and hold the bind button, press and hold power for a couple seconds. Once it starts booting up, let go of power. It says binding. I release right around this point. It's going through the whole process. Bind complete. There we go. Everything is working properly. Of course, you can give it a quick little safety test before you take off. Ailerons are working, elevators working. There's no rudder on this plane. Okay. <laughs> it's got, this is my first time binding this, so I was expecting rudder. And we should have safe on a switch back here. We can hold full aileron, throw safe, and we see the ailerons go a little higher, so that means safe is off. Safe is back on. Throttle works fine. There you go. You have a UMX airplane bound and ready to fly. It's that easy. I want to say a massive thanks to everyone that has requested this video. Generally, I think that instructions do a fantastic job at getting this process done. That's the main reason we don't make these videos, and there are some others out there that do a fine job at these videos as well. But if we get enough requests, we will make videos like this, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, maybe it gets more people into the hobby, seeing how easy these UMX planes are to bind and gets more people in the air, and that's what this is all about. I wanna say a massive thanks to God for getting us out here today for this short little video to make for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well, just the time to share with you. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because of you guys, we get to make this kind of content all the time, and it's family friendly, and we're very proud of that. We have one of the best Patreon support systems in the world, especially in the RC world, and I just say a massive thanks from the bottom of our heart. Hopefully, we'll have a flying video of this already posted, so if you'd like to see this awesome plane flying, I'm sorry you didn't get to in this video, we'll have that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Woo!